Hi, welcome to the second part of this video series, here we will cover how to mesh, and set up the solver for the rocket. To start off, drag over a fluent cell with meshing. Go to properties and change the meshing units to millimeters. Choose the number of cores fluent will use, and select double precision. The workbench default uses watertight meshing, and because the geometry has no gaps, this is the optimal method to mesh. Start by importing the geometry. Select yes to add local sizings. For simplicity, local size only the BOIs, starting with the fin BOI. Set the element size to 1 mm. Set the 4 BOI to 2 mm. The nozzle and nozzle wake BOI to half a millimeter, and the wake BOI to 5 millimeters. Next is to create the surface mesh, where the min size can be set to 0.2 millimeters and the max size can be set to 30 millimeters. Set the max curvature to 5 degrees and the min cells per gap to 5. Set this to 5, so the fin edges are captured sufficiently. Now add periodic boundary conditions to describe the quarter circular symmetry of the rocket. Define this using the two symmetry named selections. Describe the geometry as fluid with no voids, with no shared topology, and keep the fluid fluid boundary walls as walls. Update the boundaries, make sure that the rocket components have the same boundary type as shown, or the resulting solution may be different. Update the regions, only enclosure should appear as a fluid region. Now create the volume mesh, smooth transition with 10 layers, with a transition ratio of 0.15 and growth rate of 1.1 was used. This forms a sufficient boundary layer for good convergence. For an accurate drag prediction, conduct a Y plus study and ensure the Y plus is around 1 for the SST turbulence model, and use final ratio for prism layer growth. Volume mesh will be polyhex core with a max size of 30 mm. Under advanced options, avoid the 1 8 octree transition. And create the volume mesh. Switch to solution mode. Leave the solver as pressure based with steady flow conditions. This simulation requires compressible fluid dynamics, so turn on the energy equation. Set the turbulence model to be omega SST, with curvature correction and viscous heating enabled. Change the air properties to have an ideal gas density, and a dynamic viscosity determined using the Sutherland equation. Next, define the boundary conditions. Compressible flow should have a zero pressure operating condition because the changes in pressure are large relative to the atmospheric pressure. The far field boundary condition will determine the free stream condition for the flow. Here the speed is Mach 2 and set to ISA conditions at 2 km above sea level. Static pressure is set to 70 kPa and temperature set to 284 Kelvin. The nozzle inlet condition is the output conditions of the combustion chamber, here assume for simplicity the material properties are that of ideal air. Set the total pressure to be 4 MPa and the gauge pressure to be 3.8 MPa. This means the hot gas travels at a speed of Mach 0.15 before entering the nozzle. Set the inlet temp to be 3300 Kelvin. For the solution method select coupled as the scheme, this solves the pressure and the velocity simultaneously, and is best used when the velocity and pressure are highly dependent on each other. Set the gradient to be green gauss node based, and set everything to second order, to reduce numerical diffusion. Activate pseudo-transient, and high-order term relaxation. Set a drag monitor, to determine the net drag acting on the airframe of the rocket. Call it drag, set it to drag force and select the external rocket surfaces. Create the report plot, and print the data to console. Initialize the solution using hybrid initialization. Create a plane showing an axial cutout of the rocket. Display the Mach number contour on the axial plane.
Use the contour to create a solution animation. Go to Run Calculation, the solution usually converges in around 200 iterations, and run the calculation. And here's how to find the total drag acting on the airframe. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content in the rocketry series.